I'm Damien Marie Hope, and I am an axiological atheist. And I want to address a, a thing I've been thinking about. So what's the real Christian problem? People don't even question anything would be the first problem. Christians simply accept and do not question the Bible. I know I did the same thing. I was once a believer in the Bible. In fact, I was a believer for 36 uh, years. Never even thought to question the Bible. Only questioned what it said. Not, what, what it, was it right or did it have any meaning or did it make sense? And think of this. All of its 450 versions that have been created over time. That's a lot of Bibles. That's a lot of versions of the Bible. If it's so understandable and not confusing, why the need for so many versions? Christians do not even question that there are over 100 different versions of the Bible in English alone. And do not question that Christianity is supposed to be the one true religion, supposedly with the one true uh, doctrine that everyone's able to understand, but then this is hard to understand. It has more than 34 to 42,000 sects or denominations. They don't even question their chosen sect, often, of Christianity. And more accurately, or completely, do question a true version of Christianity. Is there even such a thing? From the thousands of possible sects, did you really look at all of them and come to the conclusion that yours was right? How lucky if you were born into the supposed right sect, or if you had the opportunity to be influenced or be introduced to the right sect of Christian. Ever thought that maybe you don't have the right sect? Ever thought that possibly you should look into what the other sects are? I know when I was a Christian, this never even came up. There are also different versions of Christianity, believing different things of the Bible, some believing other things of the Bible. In fact, you can't even get creationists all to agree on everything that it says in the Bible's book of Genesis, which they say has all the answers. This is a real problem and should really be questioned. Even if a Christian believer concedes that a few lesser Christian sects are mostly true, but I guess mistaken in some way. There are still tens of thousands of Christian sects or denominations with tens of thousands of versions of Christianity that this believer is rejected. How could such a clear message be so commonly and oftenly seen wrong? It's not really. Christians against atheists. It's Christians against Christians. Supposedly, this such clear truth. These believers are rejecting Christian sects similarly with the same claim of such faith in God and follow the same guidelines of the supposed Bible as which to also be claiming to have and I'm sure they believe they have the most completely true version of Christianity. This really should be conceived as a Christian problem. Which of the believers who hold the different versions of Christianity are right? Don't even worry about if the Christianity is right over another religion. Christianity doesn't see itself right with other Christians. Not all Christians can be right. You would be wrong to say that they're all wrong. Would you not? 
If you're a believer, have you even looked into and questioned your own beliefs? The real clean Christian problem is Christians don't even analyze what it means to be Christian. Oh, I hear them all the time saying when something a Christian does that they don't like, oh, that's not a real Christian. But what is a real Christian? What is a true Christian? Who's going to decide that? Who of the tens of thousands of different versions is the right one? I'll say there was so many versions of Christianity and a religion supposedly the one true religion seems to be the religion of confusion and thus cannot be a supporting conclusion of a God. And I would say thus the real Christian problem is that it, like all other religions, are just myths and fables and bigotry of people written long ago. The reason why there is no truth in religion is very evident in the fact that even Christians cannot agree on the one book.